Hey y'all, it's Ray and welcome back to my channel. This uh, particular video is going to be a review on the Miel Pomegranate and Honey line. I said in a previous video that someone gave me the twisting souffle and so I bought the coil sculpting custard to go along with it and I would try to do a review on it with a wash and go or either a twist out. And I decided to do a wash and go um, on it. So I did not do the wash and go as a tutorial where I'm showing you what I do. And I decided against that because after looking at some of the reviews on the custard, a lot of people were getting flakes. Um, now, when I read the back of it, it said to do it on soaking wet hair. The best way for me to do my wash and goes on soaking wet hair is to do it in the shower, which is how I prefer to do my wash and goes. When I'm doing them in front of the camera, it's not my preferred way of doing it because your hair dries out, you're trying to re-wet it with a spray bottle. Um, and with my low porosity hair, my cuticles close uh, really quickly. So trying to spray my hair and get it back wet, trying to use warm water, even though I put warm water in the bottle, when it sprays out, it's not as warm as it should be to kind of get my cuticles back open. So I'm really taking a chance on um, my wash and goes turning out the best way possible by doing it outside the shower. So because I said do it on soaking wet hair, use this custard on soaking wet hair, I did it in the shower on soaking wet hair, hopefully trying to eliminate flaking that may um, happen. I also used it with a twisting souffle um, instead of their leave-in conditioner because I didn't have that. And this says that it is very moisturizing, very hydrating on the back. So I figured that this could be used as my um, moisturizer. So initially putting those things onto my hair in the shower after I um, shampooed and I did use a shampoo to make sure that I didn't have any buildup on my hair and I deep conditioned. My hair was very soft. I put on the twisting souffle and it went on fairly easily. It does not have a lot of slip in my opinion, but it did go on. My hair still felt um, soft, somewhat soft. And after I applied that, then I applied the um, coil sculpting custard. Now, when I put the custard on, it gave my hair a whole lot of slip. It slid right on. I actually had a problem with it sliding out of my hand, so I had to be real careful not to lose a lot of it on my shower floor. But um, I got it on, so my hair is still dripping, as you can see. So this is what it looks like. It does have a little bit of white cast residue on my ends. Um, but here is the curl pattern. Um, it feels like it's going to have a really light hold. I don't know how it's going to dry. I don't know if it's going to dry with flakes or not. I think that I might just because of the actual consistency of it. Now, I do like some custards. I've mentioned those custards on my channel, but those custards are a little bit of a thicker consistency. This custard is more of a watery, sticky consistency. So it's going to remind you more of a kinky curly custard um, or the Shea Moisture. Um, they have like a, a curling custard. And so it's gonna be more on that lines versus the lines of the custards that I use that are a little bit thicker, um, not quite gel, but in between the gel consistency and this particular custard consistency. So this is what it looks like. Um, it does say on the um, jar, the custard jar to air dry or diffuse. Now my hair is too thick. I used to air dry when it was shorter, um, but I no longer air dry because it would take two or three days for my hair to air dry. Um, or it says you can diffuse. What I'm going to do is sit under my hooded dryer as I normally do when I do my wash and goes and let it dry that way. Okay, you guys, I'm yeah. back. I sat under my hooded dryer for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And my hair is pretty much dry. Um, it is some fluff and there is just a small, um, it's, a, it's, it's a soft toe, but there is like a little crunchy sound. Uh, not really crunch, but um, you could tell something is there. My hair is not completely dry. There is a little bit of wetness here and here, which is what I said, always tends to still be a little bit wet after everything else is dry. But this is, the, all this is completely dry. 
Now, what I thought was gonna happen, happened. So when I came the first time and showed you the little droplets on my hair, um, they dried there. So I don't know if you can really see the little white here that look like it's gonna end up flaking on the ends, but it's there. So what I'm going to do, and it's not real shiny, it looks like it has like a little gray cast to me, which lets me know that it's probably going to flake a little bit. And that's what happens with a lot of custards that um, happen to be that consistency for me. Um, but what I'm gonna try to do is diffuse the rest of this and see if it gets rid of that. And then I might try to top it with some oil, but because I'm low porosity, I don't like to really put oil on top of my hair to try to break any cast or get any shine because it doesn't soak in. It just sits on my hair and then my hair tends to feel greasy when I touch it. I have oil on my hand, so I don't like that. But I do have a serum from Eating Body Works. It's like that moisturizing serum from their almond and marshmallow line. I might see if I can use that to bring some shine and maybe get rid of um, the dull cast that's on my hair. So let me go and see what I can do with that. And then I'll come back and show you look, what it looks like and give you my final results. Alrighty. Okay, I am back and I went on and diffused my hair dry. I did try to use the serum um, to bring some shine and try to get rid of some of the white cast or gray cast and it didn't really help that much as you can see there's still a little bit there I even took a tad bit of oil to try to see if that would do anything it doesn't what I will say is that the serum made my hair even softer my hair is very soft and fluffy it is defined um, it did define my curls but because it's so soft, I don't know how long it's gonna last. The other thing I don't like is that it is going to give me flakes. I already know, I see the cast, and then you can see the build up here in the back. I'm not sure if you can catch it in the camera because of the way I'm set up, but there's all kind of build up there that's gonna flake. Now, I'm not too worried about it today because I don't have a lot on my schedule today. Um, I'm pretty much just going to be, um, well, at the house, and I do have to take AJ somewhere, drop him off, and pick him back up, but I don't really have to see anybody. I can just kind of stay in the car for that. So most likely this will be going up into a puff and then that should hide that flaking um, there and it should just show my ends and maybe I can get away with um, not having to restyle my hair again um, until next wash day, but I'm not positive, so we'll see. I'm gonna to try to stretch it out if I have to, put it in a puff if I have to. But all in, okay, so um, to answer your questions, for me, it flakes. I probably will not purchase this product again. I'm not even sure that I will use it again. I may try the Twisting Souffle on its own for a twist out, and if that's the case, I'll come back and show you guys that. So I may go ahead and try this and use it again, but I'm not gonna use the custard again because I have too many other products that I can get a good wash and go with that will not flake. So I'm not gonna take um, the chance on it, especially if there's a day where I really have to go somewhere and have to be out in public. I can't go with flakes and with build up there. So, um, but I do like the softness. I do like the fluffiness of the product. So if you're one who likes soft curls, they give it a try, see if it flakes on you. Um, I don't know, but for me it flaked and almost every review that I watched on this, the people said that it flaked, especially the second and third day. Now, um, they're not real big flakes where people can see from a distance, but when you move your hair or you fluff your hair, you kind of see the stuff floating around. So I'm just gonna kind of give you a turnaround. See if you can see it. Um, so, you know, this is pretty much it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it for today um, and hopefully try to keep it for the rest of the week, pull it up in a puff if I need to. But um, I won't be purchasing the product again, but that's not to say that someone else won't love it. So, you know, you take your chances. This is just my review on it. Um, 
and I will leave all the details on the products at like the cost and where you can find it in the description box below. That's pretty much it. If you like this content and you like my um, channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave me any comments below that you may have regarding this product or any other. If there's something that you would like to see me do a review on, please leave that in the comments below as well. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.